voice himself. Russ evening session coming live from Halle 39 in Hildesheim at 7 o'clock this evening a session of to see the four quarterfinals the two semis and not gonna hold here because he's fired that into the skinny one 36. immediately Don't ending any hopes bold. and you can see shaking the wrist there already in leg one that does not bode well for fans of the Cobra this might though if Chiz is missing his doubles 20 Yellow, you require 64. Never see him shake it when he hits what he's going for, do you, Dan? Not very often. Game show the first leg. Let's have a look, shall we? Yellow Crasson, single leg cleave. No, not a single play. shake or stretch of the hand there. So recovered from the slip with a 64 checkout to win the first One leg. Man and Impressive stuff from Ian White in the previous game. Very impressive. And I think if you're looking at potential new winners of a European Tour event, when you look at the field we've got here, I think you have to consider Ian White as a potential one because you don't win the number of PDC titles that Ian White has done by luck. You win it by knowing how to go and play consistently excellent darts through the course of a day. This is one his fair share of PDC titles as well. I counted Sixth. 11. Mm, yeah. 11 in total. Including this tournament 40. in 2013. His sole Euro Tour victory, although he did make back to back finals last year. The class and beat Chisnell here last year, didn't he as well? Beat him in the semi finals, 6 4. Went on to lose to Alan Norris. Very disappointing finale for Yellow Klaassen. As was the finale of that combination checkout. Nowhere near the bullseye. 84. Just for a hold of throw here to prevent himself going 2 0 down. He's juggling his darts. He needs to find a treble. He doesn't find a treble. And so Klaassen will come back and having 54. survived darts from Chizzy in the opening 38. leg, he may be about to go 2 0 up. Straight at the double 19. Does like the double 19. Doesn't really like it from over there. No score. Dave, you require faulty. Well, Chisnell gambled on the 94, not going the bullseye route at the beginning and then not going the double double route after hitting the single 18, but he's ended up on double top because Klassen has missed three cleared out to double. Oh, Chisnell missed two. 20. He's not really getting that close. Yellow, and we know that every now and again, Dave Chisnell has these days where the doubles just don't go. Oh, the must score. score. Dave, you require 20. And I don't know how many doubles you have to miss when you're Dave Chisnell. For if you start thinking, maybe it's one of those days. Because he is a long way off with a lot of these darts. And that's no closer. Oh, finally, yeah, Chisney. Hey Chisel, third leg yellow, the proof. One up! Well, two top ten players in action here, and that's top class darts from Yellow Clarkson as the 180 tally surpasses 150 in this tournament. 82. So dodge end to the last leg, but Clarkson started in style this time, although that one's. 83. Gone wayward. Now you see nine darts missed by Dave Chisnell before he pinned one. Yellow Klaassen has missed six darts at double already. That's like mine and yours double percentage. 42. Well, with a decimal point missing. Well, he's not far off Kevin Painter and Simon Whitlock yesterday. 95. Yes, it is average. Mm, distinctly. But Klaassen has left a finish after 41. three visits to the board and <laughs> looking very, very good to go back into the lead at 2-1 because Dave Chisholm is absolutely nowhere and needs to find a trademark Chizzy 180 just to get to a finish. We saw Michael Van Gogh not near his best earlier on against Christo Reyes. It was pushed 
hard by these fans. You do have to pace yourself in these tournaments, don't you? You've got to win four games in a day, but you've also got to win to have any chance of doing that. Well, that's it. 30. It's always good to get better as the tournament goes on because you may need your best stuff to beat the other players who are in form, but unfortunately there's no point leaving something in the tank if you get knocked out in round three. 100. Yeah. Yellow, you require 20. No point having a car full of fuel if you're never going to drive it. Oh, dear me. Well, the doubling is shocking from these two. Can Chizzy produce a ton plus? Going on what we've seen in the first couple of legs, probably not. But he's given himself a chance. 96. The double yeah, 19 has caused 10. problems for the pair so far. Now double 5 is troublesome for Klassen. How would he fare on double 2? Not very well. Five, you require 19. Yeah, that Klassen had 60% on his doubles yesterday. He's closer to 6% right now. 15. Oh, is it? He's been let off. Yeah, you it? require 4. Yellow Classen, full flag change the throw first. Game on. Well, what you can say about this, it provides drama. Six and eight and thirteen percent, folks. One hundred. Well, surely at some point. A spark will fly in this game, will catch light, because these two players, well, they're number six and number nine in the world. Mm. It cannot go on like this, Dan. Well, two of the most consistent players on the European Tour over the last 18 months or so. You know, Dave Chisnell had a superb run. 60. Second half of last year, let's say back-to-back -back finals. Yellow over the last two years has been excellent on the European Tour. Obviously pipped in a deciding leg by Alan Norris in the final of this event. So yet to claim the first Euro Tour title. Here we go. More like it, isn't it? Yeah. One the waiters of excellence in a desert of dross from Dave Chisnell. One hundred and thirty-four. Now then, Chizzy comes down the board. Fifty-eight. No. Just opens the door for Clarsen. And with the way they've both finished, I think neither of them is going to panic if you see the other one closing in on the double because he's taking forever just to hit it. You think you're going to get a shot at some point. Well, 1-1-8. Might end up double on 19, double 19 again. again. Not to be. Made himself double 12 instead. Yellow, Yellow Clarsen will look at triple 19 here. Gets it. Two darts. Only Game needs the one. What player. is going on here? Yellow I didn't realise you could take out finishers in Fifth first half. Yellow to throw first. Certainly Game these on. two didn't. Well, Chizzy had a 180. Carson with a 73 finish. It's just 60. starting to uh, warm up a little bit. Clarson reaching the dizzying heights of 17.5% finishing stats. 78. Thing is, both of these are quite capable of not missing any darts at double from now until the end of the match. I would, it, you know what? With 85. the ludicrous nature of darts and dart players, we'll probably see a ton seventy checkout at some point before the end of this one. It's the kind of nonsense these guys provide, 58. and that's why we love it. That's why you love it. Do love, it. love darts. Mm, wouldn't you? Two and a half thousand people crammed into Halle 39 in Hildesheim. There's only 100,000 people in Hildesheim. One in 40 people from Hildesheim are here. Yeah, and the other one just couldn't get tickets. Yeah. They're watching outside on their phones. 45. With the sound off. Obviously. Well, this is off. 38. From Yellow Carson. First time that Dave Chisler made the quarterfinals of the World Championship. Strange that, you wouldn't have thought it, would you? But by beating Yellow Clarsen in the last 16, having made a number of major finals, Dave Chisnell. 
It just never really managed to get it done at the Worlds, even though he's one of the guys who'd beaten Phil Frozen. Taylor a few years ago. He's a very elite club he joined when he knocked Phil Taylor out of the World Championship early. But I, don't, I hope he's not listening. Phil, don't remind him of that one. He doesn't like that, does he? I think Phil's probably not listening. And these two won't want to be reminded of this one, will they, in years to come? 56. Well, whoever comes through it, if they then go and turn it on in the evening session, which they are quite capable of doing, then they'll quite happily look back fondly on that dreadful game of darts one that they managed to secure a win. Right then, we saw Peter Wright with a table turning 160 yesterday, one of two in the tournament. Classen is not going to follow suit. And Chisnell looking at 77 to move back Don't within one. And it will be for a break. Well, Classen took out 73 in two darts. Chizzy might be about to take out 77 in Game two. Sean of well, Pippen. it's easy, isn't it? It's so easy, this double. What were they doing early on? First. Game on. Well, the winner takes on Benito van der Pass or Jan Decker in the quarterfinals this evening. That's coming up next. Klaassen does convert this 3-2 lead into a win. We are guaranteed 100. a Dutchman in the semi-final, of course. Some people would argue you're going to see a Dutchman in the semi-final anyway. Because Michael van Gerwen's here. He's always in the semis and usually the final and usually winning it. And many of the odds compilers would suggest before the tournament it's guaranteed mm. that a Dutchman would be in the quarter semis and the final. But he's not been quite as dominant from MVG at the start of this One year. Round so he did say he's back yesterday after uh, hitting the highest average of the tournament so far, 111.451 against Jermaine Watamina. 58. But he also said that his defeat against Raymond Van Barnum in the Premier League was the worst he's played all season. 101. Worse than when he was beaten by Steve Beaton. Worse than when he was beaten by Richie Edhouse. Worse than when he was beaten by Darren Johnson. All of them have done it in the last few weeks. Can Ian White get the job done? Against Michael Van Gerwen tonight. Chisnell's getting the job done now. One hundred eighty. That'll be quite one hundred and sixty-seven. So Chizzy to level things Fifty up. Nine. He was three one down. Davy require twenty-eight. Now looks at the Mensor, the double 14. Mensor was lethal on this yesterday, as Mensor usually is. And Dave Chisnell will be similarly deadly. Oh, well, not those two. That's Dave where he needs to be. Dave Chisnell, we do have a level game. Rupert. 59. I think he was six out of seven, wasn't he, Mensah Solovic, yesterday? Yes, he was. 83. It was quite the display from the gentle. We will see him back in action in the final game of this afternoon against Joe Cullen. And what a match that could be, because Joe Cullen was in the mood last night. Seeing off Jamie Bain. Two non-seeds left. That's uh, Jan Decker and Kevin Painter. 134. Painter in action against Gerwin Price. Just before Sullivan takes to the stage. 77. I wonder if the German crowd actually know what they're saying. Did they, they give it the full Will Griggs on fire in Hildesheim? I'm not sure. I'm it sort of sounds a bit like Vil Griggs on fire. One hundred. They're just like a tune, don't they? Ninety-six. Well, when the entertainment's not being provided Are on the stage, they certainly know how to make it for themselves, don't they? Mm, well. They certainly enjoy themselves as Chisnell. Well, hang on. 76. 
No oh. require ATA. He's miscounted there. I don't think he has. I think Russ Bray called 116. Oh, right. I see. We've got a scoreboard here. 38. Dave, you require 40. I was wondering about the route there for Dave Chisnell. But... Well, he does want double top. Well, he seems to be wondering about the route here. It's pretty simple. <laughs> Not making it look simple. 30. We've gone back to Yelling early doors in 50. this game. Oh, well, Klassen follows suit. Or will he regain the lead? Game There's your answer. Yellow the Klassen, eighth leg Dave to throw first. Game on. Well, three missed darts from Dave Chisnell. It would have been a third consecutive leg and a break of throw there. But Yellow Klassen has punished him. It has not been pretty at this match. The finishing has been pretty atrocious. One round and four. But the other shot is Yella Klaassen is two legs away from a place in the quarterfinals to face either Jan Decker or Benito van der Pass and give himself an opportunity to improve. One round and four. Yeah, and this pair have met twice this year and Klaassen's got the better of Chisholm on both of those occasions. Looks like he'd be... One round and four. Doing so again. I think he's been slightly better hasn't he the Dave Chisel in this match but it's there's not a great deal between them is there yeah he's missed 14 darts at double compared to Chisel's 18 14 yeah two decent legs everything else well not of the standard you would expect on the European tour, let alone on the final day of the European tour. Yeah, five legs, 20 darts or more. 120. A little bit more like it. Yellow Klaassen's going to give himself a couple of darts for a 5 3 lead, and that may be too big an obstacle for even the great Chizzy. 125. Yellow, you require 54. Topsy wants. Topsy gets from Yella Klaassen. Yella Klaassen, ninth He's leg, finishing, the first. has Came improved on. markedly ever since that fourth leg when he took out 73 and One two dark. Right on 40. Well, you mentioned yesterday, Dan, that uh, Klaassen's new MO is to try and leave tops rather than double 18. Chizzy's a, a man who favours double 18 as well, but he's mm. working 64. out for him in this tournament so far. Ooh, look at the wow, speed man, from Yellow Class, and that's quick even for him. Maybe just trying to get something going. 60. I must admit, I expected us to be finished by now in this particular match, but... Even if it had gone 11 legs. 121. But Yellow looking to get this done in a hurry, and he's sped up in this leg. And it seems to have worked for him. Yeah, done just yeah, the trick for Yellow Klaassen, who was looking at a ton for a 12 darter. 80. One match dart missed, but he's going to get more. Because Yellow Klaassen, he'll be like Happy Gilmore when he approaches that hockey, because he runs 60. up to it and releases the dart in one movement. Well, he does normally, apart from Dave Chisnell was dawdling, but it matters not, because he's pinned double check and it's a 6-3 win. It was pretty dreadful in the early stages, but Klaassen built up ahead of steam and he does book his place in the quarterfinals. He made the final here last year. He'll be hoping to go one better and claim a first Euro Tour cycle. He's going to have to do it despite the tendonitis in his wrist. But Benito van der Pass or Jan Decker is the man that stands between the Cobra and the semi-finals later on this evening. We're going to find out which one of them is going to face. Yella in just a few moments time and let's grab a quick couple of words as Dave Chisnell bows out of the tournament. Die können gleich zu den Fans. Dave Chisnell. Yella, sometimes it's strange. It's, it's, not, it's not playing your best, it's uh, playing better than the opponent. Yeah, hitting the last double again, uh, that's what I did. So. Thank you, thank you. I was really surprised. Uh, I expected a fast match. Dave was waiting and then preparing. I've, I've never seen that with him. Uh, me neither. Uh, couldn't get going. Uh, he was very slow. And the last three legs, I thought I'm just going to play fast, and I hit the treble. So, how is the wrist doing? Not good. <laughs> really not good. It's hurting every time. Yeah, yeah. But I won, so I'm happy. Okay. See you later again. Thank you, Jelle. Jelle Klassen.